I'm Stephen Foskett, and I am uh, the organizer of Tech Field Day, but we are here at OpenStack Summit in beautiful Austin, Texas. It is uh, a warm and sunny day, but uh, we're catching up with companies that we know uh, at the OpenStack Summit, uh, and of course, I had to give a holler out to Platform 9. Um, they have given fantastic presentations at Tech Field Day in the past, and um, we've been following their career very, very closely. So tell me a little bit uh, about yourself and about Platform 9, and then we'll uh, get into it a little bit more. Sounds good. Um, hi, everyone. I am Madura Miskaski. I am one of the co-founders at Platform 9, and I'm VP of product there. Um, and before Platform 9, I spent about eight years or so at VMware, primarily as a tech lead, as a technical person. And prior to that, I was at Oracle. Um, and so Platform 9, what we do in a nutshell in one sentence is uh, we make um, OpenStack-based private clouds extremely streamlined and easy and out of the box. And we do that by deploying OpenStack as a service. Okay, so it's a very disruptive, very distinctive model around deploying OpenStack compared to the traditional professional services space route of creating private clouds, right? And when you say OpenStack as a service, mm -hmm. um, is this OpenStack on their own hardware as a service? That's exactly right. Okay, because yeah. so sometimes people is, think as a service means somebody else's hardware. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. So it's important to make that distinction. So if you were a customer, yep. your hardware, your server storage networking would still be in the premise of your data center. Um, it's just the software, which is the OpenStack services and parts of them, are hosted outside of your data center as a managed service offering. Yeah, um, somewhere in the cloud of our yeah. choice. So essentially, the management. Um, well, I guess if you want to get all software defined about it, yeah. right? The the the, the management plane is as a service and the data plane or the, the, the infrastructure is your own hardware. That's absolutely right, yep. And um, why do you do it that way? I mean, why not have it run uh, locally? Yeah, no good question. And so, you know, we come from VMware and we have a kind of background as well as experience interfacing with VMware's large, mid to large customers. And one of the uh, pain points that we saw as a theme is that getting private clouds or just private data center environments up and running is incredibly difficult, mm -hmm. right? There is pain points in initial deployment, maintenance, upgrades, patches, et cetera. It's just a nightmare. It's mm -hmm. a, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars spent there. So we want to address exactly that problem, right? We want our end users to focus on consumption open stack, but not necessarily around how to operationalize it. Um, and so, you know, we figured uh, offering it as a service is the best model to do that. Uh, it's already happened in the sales world, in the marketing world, through Salesforce or Marketo, et cetera. And we think infrastructure software is ready for that disruption. And that seems to be a trend here, too, looking around um, at the, uh, around the show floor at OpenStack Summit. Um, there are um, a few companies that are trying to figure out how to operationalize OpenStack, not just how to improve the stack itself, but how to bring it into production in enterprise environments. That's exactly right. You know, it's, um, OpenStack has had this really interesting journey over, I would say, past four or five years or so, where today, I think OpenStack is fair and square in the mindsets of majority of uh, CIOs or mm -hmm. the leaders of infrastructure, if you talk to a mid to large size enterprise, yeah. right? So the question to them is, how do I operationalize it? How do I build on this OpenStack strategy for my private cloud? Um, and there's many alternatives out there. Um, the proposition we make is that you can take what you have in your data centers, which could be VMware deployments, it could be Linux KVM deployments, and we will very seamlessly layer Platform 9 managed OpenStack, which is an OpenStack-based cloud, on top of what you have today. Um, so you go from zero, which is what you have, to a fully operational cloud, literally in a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and what that means to the, the customer is that they then can use this future of, um, well, cloud-specific applications mm -hmm. um, on the infrastructure that they already have. That's, that, that's right, you know, this, this whole theme of cloud-native applications or a DevOps-oriented approach yeah. to infrastructure management has been a big theme lately in general, right? Containers promote that theme, frameworks like Kubernetes promote it. It's a big theme in the open, uh, open source and open stack world. Um, and the best way to do that is by achieving a ton of automation, right? Mm -hmm. So we automate away your infrastructure as a service layer, and then we allow you to build a lot of those DevOps-like workflows and automation on top, mm -hmm. um, using self-service and using so many other features that OpenStack offers out of the box. Is this, um, is this a play as well for something that, I mean, I know we're at OpenStack, but uh, for people who aren't necessarily going to cloud infrastructure? 
Yeah, you know, so if you think from the pain point of the use case perspective, right, um, for any organization who has a software development team, for example, who are looking to automate their CI, CD infrastructure, etc., uh, they may not necessarily be looking for cloud, but if you have these use cases, um, you know, uh, OpenStack is a great solution and Platform Mine is a fantastic way to solve that problem. Yeah, and maybe that's actually, um, you know, an answer to this uh, OpenStack and the enterprise riddle that people are talking about where, you know, we're not sure exactly how this thing fits in. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe it fits in as a, uh, a, a way to, you know, uh, operationalize um, infrastructure instead of necessarily as owning your own Amazon. That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, if you look at a traditional, say, VMware customer or so, um, there's a number of things that they're doing manually today using their vCenter um, platform, right? Including serving requests for their end users when they're looking for VMs. That's just one part of it, right? And OpenStack gives you, first of all, a management plane that lets you view all that capacity across data centers, across the regions, et cetera, through a single pane, and then really uh, you know, manage it better. And it could be specific to your use case. Um, OpenStack has um, you know, solutions for various use cases. Well, it's, uh, it's great catching up with you. Um, we missed you at the last Tech Field Day, That's but right. I hope yeah. you'll be back right. to the next one. Um, you, know, you, you did a great job the first time as well. So if you'd like to catch up um, with uh, Medora and with more of what uh, Platform 9 is doing, uh, again, just go on Google um, and look for Tech Field Day, look for Platform 9, and you will find lots and lots of videos. Uh, you know, you guys have presented twice now, uh, so there's uh, four hours of video of uh, all about Platform 9. Uh, you can also find all sorts of Tech Field Day videos. Go to techfieldday.com or youtube.com slash techfieldday, and you'll find a lot more discussions like this. So thanks for watching. <laughs>